One of the most powerful ways to use census data and other statistics is to compare the data from one community or neighborhood with other areas. To do this, you'll want to use the guided search or the advanced search options in American Fact Finder. To get to American Fact Finder on the U.S. Census site, you can Google American Fact Finder. And the link should come up, and you are taken immediately to the search page. In a previous video, we talked about community facts, but we're going to use guided search today. This will ask you a series of questions in order to help you clarify your search. So we'll click on guided search and get started. Say we want to compare data of people living in poverty in one area or geography compared to the entire United States. To do this, we'll use the default looking for information about people. We don't have to do anything here but click the Next button. So now we're on Topics. You can choose any of these topics, but since I mentioned that in this example we'll be using poverty, I'll click on that and see that there are three options under poverty. We'll click the third option, which is simply labeled poverty, and you'll see that this search option is quickly added to the Your Selections box at the right. Now, we'll, now that we have our topic, we'll click the Next button and go on to the geography. I'd like to compare one of those zip codes from the previous video that talked about dangerous zip codes in the Detroit area with the entire United States. So I'll first enter the zip code 48207 in the top and click the Go button. And again, you see the selection is added to your selections. Now to get to the entire United States and compare that with this zip code, I'll use this second option. Use the drop-down menu to select United States, highlight United States, and add it to my selection. So now I have two geographies and the topic poverty. So I'll go on to the next option, which is if I'm looking for data on a specific race or ethnic group. But since I'm not interested in specific groups like that, I'll just skip this step. Now I'm given 10 choices of 10 different reports. All of them have something to do with people living in poverty, so I could look at one or all of these. It's important to note the data set on the final column of the report to know which census data you're looking at. All 10 of these reports are from the 2012 American Community Survey 5-year estimate. This may change as new census information is published. I'll take a look at the selected economic characteristics. You can see from this table that there is information on the entire United States here, and there is information on these four columns over here on the zip code 48207. It's useful to look at things like unemployment, so you can see the unemployment percentage of the entire United States is 6%, whereas it's nearly 14% in this zip code. This report has a number of statistics on economic characteristics, and it's worth looking at all of them. But for this example, I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom of the report, where it lists the percentage of family and people whose income in the past 12 months is below the poverty level. The first line shows all families living below the poverty level, and that percentage of families in the entire United States is 10.9%, whereas this Detroit zip code, the percentage of all families living below the poverty level is 42%. 0.1%, nearly four times that of the entire United States. By selecting other options under Topics for the guided search, you'll find information on educational attainment, number of grandparents raising their own grandchildren, number of children over three enrolled in preschool, and a lot of other useful information that will give you an interesting picture of a community. If you'd like additional information on using U.S. Census data, see the library guide, U.S. Census and Demographic Information, or contact the University of Michigan Clark Library by emailing clarklibrary at umich.edu or calling 734-764-0410.